crime committed by illegal migrants has gotten so bad that Texas has launched the 10 most wanted migrants list. As President Biden gets slammed for his executive action that border agents say has done nothing to curb the number of apprehensions at the border. Joining us right now is former acting commissioner of Customs and Border Protection and fellow at the Heritage Foundation, Mark Morgan. Always great to see you, Mark. I want to start with this executive order because Governor Greg Abbott said something Sunday that I thought was very important to understand. Um, first, the Border Patrol and different sectors along the border have reported no change in the surge so far this week. But here is what Governor Abbott said in an interview on Sunday. Let's listen. Listen, people need to understand that what Biden has done, uh, he's not doing anything to actually secure the border. In fact, it's the opposite uh, because he's actually authorizing uh, more people to cross the border illegally. Uh, and think about this. When you get to that 2,500 number of people crossing the border a day that he says uh, he will allow, but only then stop the asylum process, when he stops the asylum process, uh, there's nothing that Biden is doing that actually is preventing anybody else from crossing the border. So, Mark, let's just take a look at the, the facts here. Let's take a look at the data. According to CBP, there was 5,600 encounters on Wednesday, okay, including 4,000 illegal crossings uh, uh, and CBP-1 app releases at ports of entry. Nearly 10,000 foreign nationals in Border Patrol custody on Thursday, a number four times the limit set by Biden's order. Is anyone actually being turned away? No, Jan, and nothing has changed, and that's the point. Uh, I, and I think that's one of the many big lies that this administration is trying to put forth. As you said, since the executive order went into place, the following days, there, the uh, total encounters at our southwest border have exceeded 5,000 per day. I want to make something very clear. This executive order is not going to shut down the border, not for a day, not for an hour, not for a second. And this administration knows this. As you talked about, as the governor talked about, it actually allows 2,500 illegal aliens per day in between the ports of entry. That equates to 75,000 a day. And when you read the fine print, there are too many loopholes to keep up with. Uh, for example, the CBP-1 app, as you mentioned, th this executive order allows those individuals to come up to land port of entry or fly into one of 45 airports. That equates to 80,000 per month. An executive order, it doesn't even impact the northern border at all, and it also exempts unaccompanied minors. So it's actually going to allow over 2 million illegal and inadmissible aliens into this country annually. And, and uh, that, that's that's why we say this is not a serious or meaningful border security bill, Jan. Yeah, and there's such a rise in migrant crime in Texas, for example. They've launched the top 10 most wanted migrant list, really highlighting the massive amount of criminals we've allowed in the U.S., including the 380,000 cases that were dropped by the administration, the three and a half million case backlog of asylum cases, all while migrants who have gone unchecked and of whom we have no idea of their background are just free to roam the country? Jan, you just summarized it perfectly. Again, I think this is one of the many things that's so frustrating. Again, kudos to Governor Abbott. Once again, he's filling the void left by this administration as they stand by and allow the open borders to continue and allow criminals and drugs and national security threats that continue to pour into this country. And I think this also represents that you don't have to be a border security expert um, to understand the issue that's going on. When you flood the, our borders with millions of illegal aliens, limited resources are pulled off the line and cartels are able to exploit that to push more. As the numbers go up overall, the number of criminals coming in going up, national security threats and drugs. In the past three and a half years, Border Patrol have apprehended almost 50,000 criminal illegal aliens at our border. To put that in perspective, that's a 99% increase from FY's 17 and 20 combined. Um, ICE, in the, in the first three years of this administration, arrested over 163,000 criminal illegal aliens, including murderers, gang members, the list goes on and on. That's why we say you can't talk about crime in this country without talking about the open borders. Uh, compare that to when uh, you were... Uh, in charge of of border security compare that to the two previous administrations both trump and obama when you talk about ice making 163,000 criminal arrests yeah so th there's two comparison one if you look at the border patrol because it's important uh, the difference of of who we're actually encountering trying to come in that that is increased as i said 99 percent 
just in the in, in the past three years from all four years under the uh, 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 Trump administration. With respect to ICE, under the Trump administration, as the encounters were low, they were actually arresting more criminals. Under this administration, as the numbers of those coming to board an illegal entry have skyrocketed to the highest in our lifetime, the number of arrests overall that ICE are making are lower. But still, 163,000 is unconscionable. Yeah. It's a lot. It's just these numbers are, are unprecedented. Former Acting Commissioner of Customs and Border Protection and fellow at the Heritage Foundation, Mark Morgan. Great seeing you as always. Hope you have a great week. Thanks for joining us.